So let's say I need to find the range of validity for each of these four. I need to find the values of x for which each of these is valid. So if we look at the first one, 1 plus x to the 1 third, it looks almost exactly the same as this, except that n is 1 third, OK? And as you can see by this, n doesn't come into the picture here, OK? n is nowhere here. And so that means that 1 plus x to the third um, is governed just by that. And so mod x must be less than 1. Okay, there is no change. Now, if we've got 1 plus 3x to the minus 2, we've already discounted that n doesn't come into this. But in this case, we have x being replaced with 3x. So if we've replaced x with 3x, we must replace this x with 3x. And so what we would have is the modulus of 3x is less than 1. But because that's not in particularly nice format, we can divide both sides by 3, and so we'd have mod x is less than 1 third, OK? So that means that x must be anywhere between minus 1 third and 1 third. For number 3, the 2 thirds doesn't make any difference. The x this time has been replaced with minus 2x, so I can write the modulus of minus 2x uh, is less than 1. Now, the modulus signs take care of the minus sign, and we can divide both sides by 2, and so we would have the modulus of x is less than 1 half. OK? So that means that x can be anywhere between minus a half and a half. How about number 4? Well, number 4 I've written in a slightly different format. Um, so this is 16 minus 8x to the power of a half. So we can do that first. Then uh, what you should notice is that this isn't in the format of 1 plus x to the something. So we need to use that trick of bringing the 16 out, factoring it out. So I'm going to do this in one step. So we're going to have 16 to the power of a half outside. And we're going to have 1 minus a half x inside. And that's to the power of a half. Now, 16 to the power of a half is just 4. So I can replace that with 4. But the 4 and that 1 half there have no bearing upon which values of x this is valid for. So. What we can see is that the x has been replaced with minus a half x. So we'd have minus a half x modded is less than 1. Now the modulus signs take care of the minus. And you can then multiply both sides by 2. And so mod x would be less than 2. So x can be anywhere between minus 2 and 2. OK? And that is how we can find the values of x for which each of these is valid.